Hello, everybody. Hello and welcome. It's Thursday. I just realized that. I was about to say it's Wednesday. But we went through this yesterday. I have a calendar. That's what it's for. I'm looking at it right now. I see the check mark by Thursday, which tells me that's what day it is. And of course, it's a second chance week. You know that because of the image up on the screen. More about that in a little bit, of course. And very exciting to let you know. Uh, uh, hello, Dr. Pee Wee. Uh, very excited to let you know we're going to be giving away two cases of Hint Water during this game to two different U.S. players. And the way you win, I'll let you know now so you can get started, is to, in the comments, you only have to do it once, is write, give me a hint. That is that is considered an entry. You only have to do it once. I will see it if you do it once. That's all. That is all I will need. Doing it multiple times does not mean multiple entries. So don't even worry about that. Oh, I see uh, somebody named Mary is having a birthday. So happy birthday to you, Mary. I see a bunch of people saying, give me a hint. You're getting in there. You're getting your entries in early. That is what I like to see. We're going to get started in just about a minute here. You know, we had a planning call today talking about stuff that's going to happen over the summer. We have some really fun themes coming up, uh, including one in uh, a week in August that I think is going to be particularly fun. And, uh, you know, more about that as we get closer. There's no point in me telling to you now. That's There's no point in it because there's so many other themes coming up and so much more fun stuff coming up in the time between now and then. Why even skip to then when we're in the now? We should live in the now. We're going to start in just about 30 seconds here. Uh, for those of you, if you are brand new, hello to K Bailey 613 in Balti Baltimore. Baltimore, I would say. In Baltimore, hello to you, to the newcomers. I'm going to explain how it works in just a moment. Let me pick up my trusty tablet. Let me make sure my script is in place and I am ready to go, which I am. Folks, it's yet another beautiful summer Thursday. So let's have some fun and celebrate the evening with Swagbucks Live, the mobile game show where you win money from the comfort of your phone. I'm your producer, Hal, keeping things beachy and breezy because that's what I'm all about. Okay, I'm actually all about trivia. And to prove it, here is today's grand prize. Look, there's all the proof you need. That is $1,000, and everyone who can correctly answer these 10 multiple-choice general trivia questions will split it. Now, even if you don't get a piece of that grand prize, remember that after Q1, you will get one bonus SB for any question you get right, and you have to claim those SB at the end of the game to keep them. You add them to your account. That's how we know you were here. You stayed the whole time, and you get to keep your bonus by claiming it. If you are a winner today, your bonus will arrive automatically. Now, remember, this is Thursday. It's going to be a little bit more difficult. It's going to be a little bit harder, but I have faith in you. And this is one of your final two chances to take part in Second Chance Week, which means you're getting three free rejoins just for showing up today. And you can do it one more time tomorrow. You will have the rejoins from today credited before tomorrow's Flash game. And those of you who played yesterday, you already have your three free rejoins, so you are stocked, locked, and ready to go. Now, if you were watching our Facebook Live this morning, you know that we're doing a special giveaway today in this game. I'm going to pick two random U.S. players who will each receive a case of Hint Water in the flavor of their choice. Your choices are pineapple, blackberry, cherry, or watermelon. So this is what you do to enter. You comment, give me a hint, and we will email you at the address on your account tomorrow if you've won. We'll, we'll select it tomorrow. We'll go through that whole process and get you hooked up. You only have to put it in once. Your, your entry will only count once. Commenting a bunch of times isn't going to equal a bunch of entries. Just said that again because we have more people in the game. Almost 25,000 of you here to play. And folks, let's get right to the fun part where the comments go away and the game begins with your warm-up question. Here is question number one. Which of the following museums can be found in London? The Prado, the Louvre, or the British Museum? Which one of these is in London? London, England. This museum dedicated to the culture, art, and history of the British people has a very impressive collection of pieces and a very on-the-nose name. It's the British Museum. The British Museum is in London. 77% of you getting that one right. 20% going for the Louvre. That is in Paris, France, folks. This is Paris, France. The Louvre. One of the most famous museums in the world with the pyramid out front. That's where you'd find the Mona Lisa. It is a beautiful museum uh, in another beautiful European city. Unfortunately, not the city of London. It's the city of Paris. But I see a lot of the people who got out on that one have gotten right back in. That is what I like to see. Over 22,300 of you still in the game. 
So let us move on to the bonus SB portion of this game. You got one bonus SB coming your way if you get this next one right. Question number two. What kind of word conveys an action? Is it a noun, a verb, or an adjective? A little basic grammar. What kind of word conveys an action? We use plenty of these to convey what you do in these games. Winning, crushing, conquering, and owning. All of which are examples of verbs. They're verbs. Verbs are action words. That's right. 91% of you getting that one right. 7%, uh, those are descriptive words. Those are describers. The words that convey an action, those are verbs. There's a little, just a little, a little grammar for you. Dropping some grammar for you on a, on a nice Thursday evening. But you're still doing well. I like over 90% of people getting it right. That part makes me happy. You know what else makes me happy? When we move on, as it does for you, I'm sure, to our next question. Question number three, it's worth one bonus SB. On your car's dashboard, what does MPH stand for? Mocha Pancake House, Miles Per Hour, or Mike Patty Hubert? In the imperial system of measurement, it's the standard for speed in cars and other non-nautical forms of travel. We're talking about miles per hour. That is the answer. Pretty much everybody getting that one right. A few people going for Hubert. Just a few. You know, we all miss him. Everybody's favorite trivia haunting ghost. He's so much to learn. So much to learn that one. Let's move on to a bonus SB in question number four. Which of the following TV programs aired the first interracial kiss? Star Trek, You and Your Small Corner, or All in the Family? The first interracial kiss ever on TV. In 1968, Star Trek featured a historic kiss between Captain Kirk and Lieutenant Uhura, but that wasn't the first interracial kiss. That happened in 1962 on the British series You in Your Small Corner. Holy moly! Oh, my heart. Oh, only 2% of you got that one right. 98% of you out. Wiped off the map, but don't just kiss one of your rejoins goodbye. You got these free rejoins you've been earning. Oh, there we go. Over 10,000, over 11,000 people already back in the game. That was a tough one. I said Thursdays are tough. There's the Star Trek is the kiss we all remember. We all remember the race relations stuff they they dealt with weekly on All in the Family. But the first ever interracial kiss on TV was you in your small corner. The British, they they were they were the first. Incredible. Incredible. I love seeing you bounce back already over almost 14,000 of you still in the running for this grand prize. And you're still coming in pretty hot and heavy. So let's, we should do, we have not done a Star Trek game. We have never done a Star Trek game and maybe we should. Do you want a Star Trek game? Put it in the comments if you do. If you're, if you're a Trekkie or Trekker, whatever term you like. All right. We are ready to move on. I got a bonus SB for you in this next question. If you get it right, it's question number five. The peach is a relative of which nut? Hazelnut, almond, or peanut? Which nut is the peach related to? So this is one case where you can see the family resemblance. Because if you were to clean off a peach pit, it would look a lot like an almond. Almond is the answer. This is way better. 71% of you got that one right. Well done. Well done. We came back from that. I don't think anything will be as hard as that last question. That was a tough one, but you, you bounced back. And that is what I like to see. You're doing well. You're killing it in this Thursday game. So let us move on to question number six worth one bonus SB. Here it is. Which artist sang about partying like it's 1999? Was it Prince, Madonna, or Sting? You know some singing is coming, don't you? Say, say, 2000, zero, zero, party over, oops, out of time. So tonight I'm gonna party like it's 1999. Those are the immortal words of Prince. Prince is the one who came up with that song along with many other great songs. This is even better. 92% of you nailing that one. You remember the video for that from 1983, I think it was? That was a big, big hit for Prince. One of his biggest hits, of course, during the age MTV. He could have a video for it. And that was a great medium for Prince, who worked well in a bunch of other mediums. He did it all. Gone too soon. We miss you, Prince. All right, let us move on to a bonus SB in question number seven. Which of these sports was an annual Olympic event at one point? 
Is it zorbing, cycle ball, or pigeon shooting? It was an actual Olympic event. We have the modern version of this event in trap shooting, but the pigeons weren't always clay. At one point, Olympians filled up a field with dead birds in the pigeon shooting event. That is true. That is something that actually happened. 89% of you knew that. You know your Olympic history, or it just made the most sense that we would go from actual pigeons to clay pigeons. Could not imagine watching a televised pigeon shooting event now where just dead birds are falling from the sky. That sounds horrifying. Nobody wants that. What we do want is to move on to question number eight, worth one bonus SB. Here it is. Wisp is the, is the real name of which toy? Is it Rainbow Bright, Strawberry Shortcake, or Glow Worm? Yes, one of these characters is actually named Wisp. Who is it? So, once upon a time, there was a girl named Wisp. She became aware of the place now known as Rainbowland and wanted to save it from the darkened state it was in, becoming Rainbow Bright. Rainbow Bright is the answer. 5,454 of you got that one right. That's just about 70% of you. Well done. On a difficult Thursday, already over 5,000 of you still in the hunt for the grand prize. That is what I like to see. It's impressive. This has not been an easy game, and you've done really, really well. All right, got a bonus SB for everybody if you get this next one right. It's question number nine. What flower is given to contestants at the end of an episode of The Bachelor? Is it a daisy, a rose, or a tulip? If you need to sort of remember, you can say, will you accept this? And then the name of the flower. So if you've held the, if you've held the interest of The Bachelor, you'll find out how strong that connection is at the end of the episode when he asks, will you accept this rose? Rose is the answer. 5,398 of you have made it this far. You are ready for our final question. Well done at a difficult game. Over 5,000 of you still in contention. Just amazing to me. But all of you, we need more people in this game. We do not have enough. We need more, more, more. And this is what you do. You tell your friends about the game. You post to social media with the hashtag SBLive. You click that Get More Rejoins button in the main menu of this app. Use the link that's there so people can sign up and be a referral. But make sure that they use the code that's included in your share. Because then you get a free rejoin for everybody who does that. Don't just wait for second chance week to get your free rejoins. You could be earning them every single day. Now, tomorrow, reminder, we have our Friday Flash game at 3 p.m. Eastern Time, 12 p.m. Pacific Time. It is a second chance week game. You will get three free rejoins for showing up. You don't want to miss it. Now, Hint Water. Talked about it a couple times now. It is a delicious, refreshing water drink infused with your favorite flavors. And if you've never had it before, now is the time to try it. When you make your first order through Swagbucks, you will get three cases for just $36. That is $1 per bottle. Plus, you'll earn 15% cash back. That's 15 SB for each dollar you spend getting hydrated in style. Get it delivered right to your door. Now, you can build your own cases too, meaning you get all the flavors that you want. You have to be a U.S. player and a new Hint customer to take advantage of this offer. Check it out after the game. And do not forget, if you weren't already aware, that I'm giving away two cases of Hint water, to uh, one apiece to each uh, each winner, we're going to pick two winners. They'll each get a case of the flavor of their choice. The way you enter is by leaving the comment, give me a hint sometime during this game. Only have to do it once to enter. We keep a record. I can pull it and see everybody who commented. And yes, I can see everything that you comment. Shame. Shame some of you. But most of you, you're fine. Comment, give me a hint for your chance to win a case of Hint Water shipped right to your door. We will email you at the email address associated with your Swagbucks account. Folks. 5,399 of you vying for a piece of a $1,000 grand prize on this Thursday evening. Almost 25,000 of you total are playing this game right now. You will all earn one bonus SB if you get this next one right. It is the final question of our Thursday game, question number 10. What is the term for a person who writes a book that's credited to someone else? Are they a ghoul writer, a goblin writer, or a ghost writer? Which one are they? Now, this happens a lot with the autobiographies of athletes and actors who don't have the time to sit and write their own story. They bring aboard a ghostwriter to help. Ghostwriter is the answer. 5,326 of you knew that one. And guess what? You're splitting our grand prize. Well done to each and every one of you. Taking home 19 SB plus the bonuses you earned along the way. Aaron Jones, you are a winner today. Baby TJ, you did it. You did it. Bethany Souther, you did it as well. And Bo Sox Girl out there in Boston, loving the socks. 
Congratulations to everybody who won it. Congratulations to all the people who picked up a bunch of bonus SB during a very difficult game. I salute you. Don't forget to, to drop a comment of give me a hint on the way out so I can pick two U.S. players to each receive a case of hint water. And thank you, as always, for playing, everyone. Take the SB you've, you've earned today and redeem them for PayPal cash or gift cards to Amazon, Starbucks, Target, and hundreds of other places. I will see you tomorrow for our Friday Flash game. This has been Swagbucks Live, and as always, great job, and I'm proud of you.